Rin. So that I hi, Rin. Uh, Say hi to Rin. Have access to it. Hi. <laughs> I love the Philippines. I'm beginning to love it more. I've been here five or six times in my life. The first time I came to the Philippines was about 15 years ago. Oh. And uh, my grandparents actually lived for three years in Makati. Oh. So I have a long heritage of uh, grandparents and family. In fact, I have a son that is currently living here in the Philippines. And so I've begun to love what you guys love, this great country of the Philippines. So. I want to tell you, as I said, a little bit about myself and my story as to how I became involved with It Works, with the purpose that you might appreciate, as I said earlier, uh, your own decision to be involved with this good company. So about, uh, it was about 12, 13 years ago, I was sitting in my office in the United States and I received a phone call from a gentleman by the name of Mark Pentecost. And Mark called because at the time, I was the managing partner of an international expansion consulting firm that focused on the direct selling industry. So I worked, and I have worked all of my life, with very good companies in the direct selling industry. Many of you would recognize the names. In fact, some of you mentioned some prior involvement with companies that I've had interaction with. And I've had the good pleasure to work with some great companies around the world. So Mark Pentecost, through his attorneys and business contacts, learned that my partners and I do international expansion. You heard that Gene mentioned that we've worked in over 100 countries around the world. And so we've been very blessed, very fortunate. And so when Mark called, he said, I understand that you do expansion consulting for companies like ours. Ours is called Edwards. It was the first time I'd ever heard of it works or Mark Pentecost. And he invited me to come visit him and his company out in the state of Michigan. They were originally in the state of Michigan. And so uh, I went out and I met Mark Pentecost for the first time about 12, 13 years ago. I fell in love with his passion for life and the good person that he was. I've worked with a lot of CEOs and a lot of companies around the world, but I'm rarely impressed by the depth of passion and goodness of people. But Mark Pentecost just really struck me as a wonderful individual, a great human being. And so uh, he asked if we would help them in their early days of expanding internationally. My partners and I said yes, and for about two to three years, you saw in the calendar that Gene shared in about 2008, 2009, the company it works expanded into Canada, Australia, and my partners and I were the individuals that helped the company do that. And we completed our contract. We were very happy. Mark was very happy. And I went on to other clients, and Mark continued to grow his company into a multi million dollar company. And uh, fast forward about five, six, seven years, Mark Pentecost called me again about three years ago and said, Hey, Ron. I know you're very happy. I know you have a great consulting career, but would you ever think about hanging it all up and coming to work for It Works? Give up your good life of going around the country and the world and, and just make a decision to be with one instead of the entire industry? And I said, well, I'm flattered by your interest. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation to consider this, but unfortunately, I don't think it's uh, it's a, an option I could consider right now. Why? Because I had a lot of clients that I was involved in long-term contracts and from a lot of personal reasons that didn't seem to match up. And I said, but Mark, you know, maybe in about three years, let's, let's reconvene, let's sit down over lunch and we'll explore this again. Perhaps maybe then it would be a good time. So if we can, I'm going to show you a couple of quick slides here. Really? Let me go back to the, where we are. All right, you all know the face of Mark Pentecost by now, hopefully, right? And uh, I really enjoy this man, and uh, I like working closely with him. But this is uh, this is my personal why, right? We all have a why. We get up every day and smile. You heard Gene say that yes, I've been very blessed and very fortunate to have seven beautiful kids and a wonderful wife that's been at my side all of my life. And 
uh, I have been able to travel the world in a hundred different countries, as you can see, with all of my clients, and and so I consider myself to be a blessed individual. But I told Mark Pentecost when he called me, I said, call me in three years. I fully expected that he would forget, right? Like most of us, we probably would have forgotten. But almost three years to the day, I got a phone call from Mark Pentecost. And he says, I remember our conversation. I made a note in my personal you know, notebook. Planner. And I want to know how you feel, Ron. Is the timing right for you to give up your career of traveling the world, blessed individual, uh, and just make one decision to work for ItWorks? And I says, well, you know what, Mark? It's interesting that you call because some interesting things have developed in my life. I'm still very happy, very engaged, have plenty of client demands. Um, but you know what, when you're a consultant, if any of you have been in the consulting world in any industry, you'll understand what I'm about to say. And this picture depicts it pretty well. When you're a consultant, you feel like you're never in the game, right? I always felt like this guy on the right. I always felt like the coach. I was always telling the CEOs, this is what you need to do. You need to do this and that and this, right? And then you have to sit back and see if they'll actually do it. Just like a coach, right? <laughs> and I said, you know what, Mark? I'm kind of tired of being a coach on the sideline. I want to get in the game. I want to play, right? And so I said, Mark, it's very fortunate for me that you remembered to call me back because I'm of the state of mind right now that I'm going to give up my very good consulting life because I want to get in the game. And there's only, I told him this, I said there's only a few companies out of the tens, almost a hundred clients and, and direct selling companies that I've interacted with that I've ever said yes to, that I've ever get in the game with, and one of them is it works. And I meant that sincerely. I said, Mark, I've always appreciated you as a person because of your passion, because of your commitment. He is one of the greatest guys I've ever met because he's true. When he says something, he means it, and he follows up and he does it, and he is so generous. When you get to know Mark, you will realize how good of a person he is. So I said yes on December 1st, just six months ago, mm. that I would give up my past life and get in the ball game. And I am so glad I made this decision to be a part of this team with all of you. So thank you for welcoming me here in the Philippines. So now that I'm in the ball game, I want to share with you you know, uh, in February, just two months after I said yes, I attended the annual convention in Florida, and Mark gave just one of the most mesmerizing speeches at the end of that convention where he used the phrase this year, be a game changer, right? So I hope that you'll adopt this for the year of 2019, that you're going to change your life, you're going to change whatever game you're playing in, be a part of Mark's mission, and uh, it's going to be a wonderful year together. So, you've already seen the pictures of the offices back in Florida. Um, I want to share with you a very specific plan, okay? Many of you have already spoken to me. You're inquiring, you'd like to see. I am a believer that this is a team experience. The corporate team and the field team, and we need to truly act like that. Meaning, we want to listen and we're going to listen. We hope that you will listen as well. And if we do this jointly, we're going to have an amazing success here in the country of Philippines. So I want you to see part of the plan of how we're going to develop the Philippines together, okay? Because it's not fair, is it? It's not fair if I ask you to do things, but you don't know what the end of the game is supposed to be. So I want to share with you some of those components. This is what we're doing in the Philippines. Now, there's a lot of words there, and I'm not going to bore you by reading them all, but I want you to see that there is a very defined, written plan in the headquarters in Florida 
of what we're going to do to develop this country. Now, I'm just going to point out a couple of things. You already know that we're starting with the three fundamental products. We want to bring more products here, and we have a plan as to when we will, and I'm going to share that with you. Okay? We have, I want to just point out this portion right here in the middle. We already have an executive office in the country. We already have a warehouse. Our global customer service is run from Davao. So the entire world is serviced for it works. Doesn't matter what country, it all comes into Davao, Philippines. That's where our headquarters of customer service is actually at. I want to show you a few pictures of that. This is our warehouse operator. We have an, he's the manager and owner of all of our shipping operations in the Philippines. And our shipping warehouse operations are in Alabama, just in South Manila, right? So that's where our warehouse is at. And this is the gentleman, his name is Dean. He's a fantastic guy, and that's his beautiful wife at the side, Ella. And they are very capable business people, and I've known them for about 20 years. This is an office that uh, is there. And this is just an administrative office. This is just a, where we do all of our accounting and all of our business. This is not a distributor designed office, but uh, I just want to show you evidence that he and I were there this morning working on a bunch of important things for the country, right? This is the actual outside of the warehouse right there. So I just wanted to show you some real pictures. This is the customer service operation in Davao. Pretty significant. I want to show you this screen right here. This right here, as you can see, is phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, and phase five very defined game plan for what it works wants to accomplish with all of us working together as to what this country development is going to be. Phase two, I want to focus on just that. If you can see that just barely on phase two, and you'll notice up here, if I stand up here, each of these phases have three different columns for product introductions, operational services provided, and sales and marketing activities within the country. So as we hit each phase, additional things will occur. And phase two, if you can read that, you can't see it, but it says phase two begins today, basically, because just yesterday was the first day in the country of Philippines that it works processed orders. We've been preparing for five or six months and we just started processing the very first order. So when you hear Gene and Nia and Rachel and others talk about how important it is to position yourself and upgrade your, your status and to become an official member and participating distributor of ItWorks, it started officially yesterday. And so we have just a few days in the month of May if you want to start your qualification now, which is a good decision, right? Make a decision on what kind of pack you're going to choose and then get in the game, right? Get in the game just like I made my decision. So phase two started officially yesterday. Phase one was the pre-launch. And phase two goes for potentially three consecutive months at 250000 When that has been accomplished, 250000 in U.S. dollars, phase three will begin. So you see how this is a team experience. We have all kinds of activities, products, and operational services that we want to provide, but we're going to do it in a measured, disciplined, and phased approach so that everybody keeps winning as we go. Does that make sense? Yes. And uh, I won't bore you with any more of the details, but I wanted you to see that there is a defined game plan. It's measured by time as well as by sales. And when we collectively hit those goals, boom, a new phase begins, new products come, new services are awarded. And what are those services? Additional methods for payment. You ever buy your product, you want to make it as easy as possible. Additional methods for receiving your commissions, right? Right now we have one on how to pay. It's using a credit card. We have one form of receiving a commission. It's through an e-wallet but we want to give 
additional methods for both to make it easier because we recognize, I certainly know, that the Philippines functions a little different and that it's still a cash-based driven society and there's a lot of need to have additional services, right? And they will come, all right? I wanted to show you this picture. This one's actually in Mexico. You can see that the It Works logo has been painted on the ground. I just want to tell you, if you go back to uh, phase four and five of here, there are sales and marketing and publicity activities that this is just one of them that we'll introduce. We want to introduce into the Philippines that in local communities of the Philippines, It Works wants to make a difference. How will we do that? through all of you, we're actually going to announce in a few months that we want some local communities to be identified by you, the distributors, where we will go in together as a team and try to make a difference, do some improvements, provide some things to the local you know, community. And that is certainly a part of ItWorks' mission, right? Are there some good towns that would benefit from ItWorks to come in and do some good things here in Philippines? This is just evidence. I wanted to show you some evidence that uh, the government is difficult sometimes here, but we thank them for helping us finally get all of our products approved and, and we keep working with more and more products, right? Uh, let me point this out because this is a very important thing. If you want to read with me, let's read this together. In the Philippines, for the first time ever in the 18-year history of it works, ultimate body applicators, the wraps, and facials are being made available for purchase in single units. This has never been done in 18 years. I want you to know that Philippines is the very first country in the history of it works that's going to sell the wraps and facials not just in a four pack, but in a single pack. It's never been done. It's not even available in the United States. So I want you to understand that difference. Number two, in Philippines, for a promotional period, the requirements to become commission qualified have been halved compared to the USA or the EU, from 150 PV, 80 BV, auto ship to 75 and 40. That's a huge advantage to the Philippines. We want you to know that we're very aware and conscious of some of the differences and challenges with this country and how we need to reach the common folk as much as we can. And this is one way to do it, was to make an adjustment in the qualification. Number three, in the Philippines, as in other markets, it works as business builder packs, PVPs, which are required one-time purchases to receive a fast start bonus. They're not required to be commission qualified, but each pack includes products and members and membership fee. In the Philippines, each BBP has volume. In the United States, it doesn't. So again, another unique difference in the Philippines that we've done to try to accommodate some of the opportunities here. And the final thing that's different is in the Philippines, there's no monthly charge for your back office technology package, which is called eSuite. It's free. That would cost $240. If you're a distributor in the United States, it's quite a difference, quite a value. It's built into the distributorship when you engage. So I wanted to point out those four unique uh, improvements, or I would say benefits, advantages in the Philippines. Now, um, Gene mentioned that you guys would appreciate hearing from Mark Pentecost. And I wish that he just flew in tonight from Manila. I wish that was true. <laughs> but I did call him yesterday, and I said, listen, I know whoever's going to be there tomorrow night would love to hear from you. And they look forward to the day that he might be here in the Philippines. And should I mention that if you go back to those phases, we have a plan for when our grand opening will be in the country. And as we hit those phases, it will be announced. And it will be a great celebration. And that, so the official grand opening is yet to occur, but it will be announced once we hit phase three. So, Mark couldn't be here, but he said this to this group tonight. So let's see if we can hear him. Hey team, I wanna take a few minutes and just welcome you to the team. 
I can't believe we just opened the Philippines. I'm so excited for the opportunity you have. I was just reading about the numbers already coming in. I can't wait for so many of you to change your lives, change your legacy, the opportunity. You've got the greatest top plan. And I love the products we're starting with. And remember, this is just a start. We've got so many great products we can't wait to bring. But man, you're gonna love fast results, before and afters, with the wrap, with the defining gel, our facials, tremendous products. So welcome to the team. I can't wait to meet you in person. And uh, you know, right time. You're at the right time, right place. So work hard right now, and it can last a lifetime. I'm so proud of you guys. Welcome to the team. Uh, that's his personal living room, and uh, I was just glad that he uh, he sat down for a minute and said a few words to y'all. He was super excited. He was, of course, he looks forward to hopefully being in the Philippines someday. But it's tough. It's tough to be Mark Pentecost, isn't it? The whole world's uh, wanting his attention, and uh, we're going to be opening a lot of countries in the next couple of years, particularly in the Southeast Asian region. We're really interested in what's going to happen here with uh, you know Philippines being the beginning. So this is the beginning of it all. If uh, if we can look at the group that's here, and the group in Cebu, and the group everywhere in a few other cities of the Philippines right now, this is the infancy, it's the beginning. And uh, we're here for a long haul, and we have a master plan that we'd love to develop, and so I thank you for uh, giving me a little bit of your time. I look forward to interacting with uh, many of you as uh, the months and years uh, go by with It Works in Philippines, but it needs to become that it works as a household name in this country, and I think we can accomplish that. Would you agree? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, I believe we've got some uh, nice things, some nice food to enjoy and whatever, and let me just restate something, which is any and all that have upgraded their membership and uh, positioned themselves with the BBP are gonna for sure be going home with a wrap or a facial tonight. So just know that. Let us know who you are if in the last few weeks you've upgraded your position or tonight you wanna do that online. Then just let uh, any of the three that have been involved tonight know about that. We'll make sure you get a nice little gift going home for it. But uh, congratulations to all of you and thank you again for being here. Yeah.